Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand what is the biggest and worst love lie that women buy into consistently, stick around because I will not just demystify what that is, but also show you how to snap out of it in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am super excited and humbled to be sharing with you the biggest and the worst love mistake, love lie that women buy into and how to turn it around. I find it so disheartening when I connect to a woman who is so full of potential and has so much going for her even though she cannot see it, make the mistake of believing that love is not in the cards for me. That's the lie. The lie is buying into any form of that, any form of that statement, love is not in the cards for me. So if you find yourself in a situation where you've been hurt so many times, where you're not willing to step up again and do this, and you're coming to the realization or buying into the bullshit idea that love is not in the cards for you, I'm going to ask you to stop for a few seconds and then listen to what I have to say. And then if you want to retake this and say, it's not in the cards for you, continue. But if you find that there's some truth in what I'm saying, I'm going to ask you to be courageous and change strategy and change course. The first step into changing this lie that love is not in the cards for you is to not fall prey to the business apprentice uh, fallacy. <laughs> what do I mean? What's a business apprentice fallacy? Well, I'll give you an example and then I'll explain what this means. So stick with me for, please for a second. Let's say that I have a friend and my friend wants to start a business. Now, mind you, my friend didn't go to business school. My friend doesn't have parents who were great businessmen and women. He doesn't have friends who really are experts and as to how to create business and how to share that wisdom to him. But he goes out there on his own, believing in himself and saying, you know what, I'm just gonna create, the, make this business happen. He has a, a goal of what he wants to create. So he goes out there, he works a second job, he makes some money, not too much, but he invests whatever little he has into creating the, this business. Now, this business doesn't work, so he says, you know what, I really wanna create this. So he waits another year and a half, saves some more cash, goes out there and does it again, and he fails again. So that's two for zero. Third time, he doesn't have the patience to wait to save the cash, so he has the power of persuasion and convinces a few of his friends and family to lend him some cash to invest in this business, and they do, and he loses again. So not only has he lost his cash, he's lost his friends and family's cash in the process as well, so he feels devastated. Now, would it be fair for this man to say, you know what, business is not in the cards for me? Well. From an outside perspective, you could say that, or you could say, you know what, dude, you know what, you don't have the training yet, you don't have the insight, but if you try to do things a different way, you can create the business you want. Now, if he really has a passion for creating a service that's going to solve people's pain, he's going to go out there again a fourth time, a fifth time, a sixth time, a seventh time, a tenth time, as long as it takes for him to create this vision. If his vision is not clear, he's gonna stop right there and say, I'm just gonna work the nine to five from here until I retire. So here's the, the challenge. Many of you are in the same situation where maybe you have your heart broken more than three times, maybe four, maybe five, really intense times. I doubt that it's been more than five really intense times, honestly. After talking to thousands of women around the world, I'd be surprised if this has happened to you seven times at the super intense level, you know? So five times is probably, I'd say it's average, three, four times intensely. Now, it's very unfair for you to say, love is not on the cards for me, when you may have never studied how to create an amazing relationship, where your parents, I'm just gonna take a wild guess, they don't have the best example for you, when your friends don't have the best possible relationships to share with you how to create this. So it'd be very unfair for you to say love is on the card for me if you don't really have a lot of insight into how to create an amazing relationship. So this, the first step is not buy into the apprentice fallacy which says, well, if it didn't happen, it's not on the cards for me. Well, maybe there's a better way. So second step is to create a new hypothesis. Maybe the hypothesis you create right now based on this is maybe I just haven't had the right insight. Maybe I am not exactly sure how to connect to the right kind of man. Maybe my intuition has been muffled, has been fogged by being hurt. So I am not really paying attention to the big warning signs. Maybe I'm not sure how to create enough value in myself that it shows when I connect to a man. If you create a new hypothesis, then you have power because all of a sudden you have the power to change this. As long as you believe that it's fate pushing down on you and that the universe doesn't want you to have a man in your life, then I'd say that you're going through the easy route. Not that it seems easy because it's still painful, but it's definitely 
easier than trying again, right? So step number three is crucial. Without this step, you will not get what you want. And that's reignite your hunger with a new vision. It's impossible for you to get back up and connect to the kind of love that you want to if you've been hurt, unless you are able to create a new vision for what you want. I'll give you an example that's probably gonna make sense for you. I connect with so many women who I, when we interact, I ask them, give me the five top virtues that you want to experience in a man. When they do that, uh, sometimes with a little bit of help and clarification, I ask them, can you please describe to me from start to finish, if you met this man and if he became your guy and you were with him for six months and you basically woke up in his arms, take me through the entire day, most women, have a very tough challenge connecting to this vision emotionally, which means, just tells me that they don't really know, they don't really expect that this is gonna happen. And when you don't expect that something that powerful is gonna happen, then your likelihood for taking action, for getting back up, for dusting off when you fall is gonna be very low. So if you're able to create that kind of vision, you'll be able to pull through. I'll give you a quotable message from me today. And that is, if your hunger is greater than your fear, you will find a way to push through and get the love you want. If your fear is greater than your hunger, you will stay stuck indefinitely until your hunger gets bigger. So how do you foster your hunger? How do you reignite your hunger? You connect emotionally in your mind, in your heart, in your journal to that vision of exactly what that relationship looks like to the point to where you're willing to go out there and create more answers. And that's step number four, change your freaking strategy. If the strategy you've been following seems to you like it's very varied, but if you, go up, if you, if you were an analyst from the outside and saw it, the patterns repeat themselves a little bit, then I'd say, Change your strategy. Buy every single book you can on amazing relationships and read it. Watch every video you can. Get mentoring. Go to therapy. Do anything you can to change the course of your strategy. If you change your strategy and you create a new vision and you take the right steps, finding love is in the cards for you. And let me tell you something super honest with you since we're being so heart to heart here. It takes absolutely no guts to say, I'm hanging in the towel. It's way easier to hang in the towel than it is to say, you know what? I'm going to go out there and risk again. Because if you create this belief that love is not in the cards for you, you no longer have to try. You don't have to get out there. You don't have to risk. You never have to be rejected. But the price to pay for that is not to connect to the kind of love that you want that's been waiting for you all along, up for you to claim. So I'd say change your strategy, connect to your vision, and create a new hypothesis. And then this is definitely possible for you. If you find this helpful, insightful, useful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link right here, you will see um, a link that's gonna help you to connect to a free webinar that I'm doing that will share with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, please leave a comment on this video and I'll either reply to it personally or create a video with an answer just for you. Thank you.